Alrighty, so a while ago I made a video on how to get a job in the Australian Public Service the easy way, um, and so that's a contracting role. Um, sorry, the dog's just doing its thing over there. Um, and this video, <laughs> this video will be on how to uh, get a job as a permanent um, APS or an ongoing or a non-ongoing APS employee rather than as a contractor. Um, so this this method takes a fair bit longer um, and uh, is is a bit harder. Before I continue, um, I'm not an expert in any way. Uh, I'm a permanent APS employee, but I have no HR experience whatsoever. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways, on we go. Pretty much the, the first step, the first thing you'll need to do is um, to look at uh, at what's called the Gazette. So that's apsjobs.gov.au and you need to figure out kind of where where your um, skill level lies. So whether that's APS 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, EL1, EL2 or SES. This will cover kind of APS 1 to EL2 and nothing else. Um, so pretty much your entry level graduate positions are APS 3. Um, APS 4 is um, kind of, uh, you know, above a graduate. Um, APS 5 is generally after what the graduates finish their um, rotations, then they'll become an APS 5. APS 6 is generally when you start getting, depending on your department, um, your leadership, um, so you'll lead a team kind of thing. Sometimes in, you know, Services Australia or um, Home Affairs, you can lead teams at APS 4s, APS 5s. Uh, it really depends on the department. Um, so if you're going for like a policy department, you, you might not even have to lead a team until an EL1, uh, maybe an EL2. Uh, it really it really depends. So yeah, once you once you identify which level uh, you are going to be applying at, make sure you're not overselling yourself. Um, don't apply uh, for an EL2 position if you've just graduated university. Um, but also, you know, don't apply for an APS2 position if you have, um, I don't know if you're a CEO of a major company. Um, it's pretty common sense. Um, once you find a, a nice job that you want, you found your position, you found, you know, your, I want to work for this department and do this thing and there's a job for it. You click apply here and then you go through all the things. Um, so pretty much it'll ask a bunch of information from you. Um, answer the information truthfully and honestly, uh, and then there'll be a, uh, an instance where they ask for your pitch. So what they're doing now is, is they want a pitch rather than please answer these four or five questions. Sometimes they want uh, you to answer questions, but that's becoming exceedingly rare. More and more often, those job descriptions are asking, those job positions are asking for a, a pitch. Um, and uh, that's what I'll speak to. I won't speak to the ones where you have to answer four or five questions. Um, so once you get to that pitch question, uh, what you have to do is um, look at the job description. So the Word or the PDF form of the, the longest one that you can. And there'll be a section that's pretty much this is what we're looking for in a person. Someone who, you know, does this. Someone who does this. Someone who does this. Someone who does this. Um, not so much, you know, your job will be to monitor, blah, 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 blah. It's the, it's the type of person that they're looking for um, and try and address them. So you'll have 700 approximately words to kind of sell yourself. And the pitch has to be, um, yeah, the, your pitch is effectively why you should hire me for this role. But what you need to do is you need to do what's called the, the star format. So that's uh, situation, task, I don't know, approach, and then results. So sometimes you just have to go like task, approach, results, it really doesn't matter. Um, but because you only have 700 words, uh, there's not many examples that you can do. So you, if you can say, you know, if you've got an example which addresses multiple points on those, um, uh, on, on the position description, uh, use that example and then use the star format. So if, if there's, say for example, the position description goes, 
We want someone who communicates clearly, um, responds well to feedback, and then uh, I don't know a third example. You use an example. Use use an example where you can demonstrate a bunch of those things in just one um, like 200, 300 word block, and just be like, during my time as a this person, uh, I was required to, and then you kind of do the role that you were required to do, and then say, in order to address this issue, I did the following steps, and then say the result that you achieved. So very great outcome because we were able to achieve this in this short time frame and blah, 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 blah. So whatever you need to do, um, there'll probably be about eight position description things that, that they want from you and you only have three examples that you'll be able to do within 700, 750 words. So um, keep each example to around 250 words unless you've got like one fantastic example that addresses each point. You don't have to address each eight points or whatever, how many points there are on the job description. Um, if, it's, if you address fewer points but better, that's the better option for you to do, so do that. Um, but also something that you have to do is look up the, uh, the Australian Public Service Commission Integrated Leadership System or whatever it is, ILS. Um, so in each of your examples, depending on your, uh, your APS level that you're applying to, you'll have what they'll be what's called an ILS profile. Um, so that pretty much says like, for example, on APS 6, is required to think strategically and engage with risk and communicate clearly, that kind of thing. You wanna be incorporating those points to show that you fit that APS ILS profile into your response. So in that first first example, say, you know, I believe this demonstrates my ability to communicate clearly because this or whatever. Um, and yeah, just look at the, they're, they're pretty much buzzwords look at the buzzwords and say, you need to include that in your example as well as the position description things and just put them together. Um, what, if you're kind of an executive level EL1 or two application, what they're really looking for is not, you know, examples of you doing something, but kind of leading something. Uh, so don't say, you know, assisted with, or did that, you need to say, I led this change or, um, championed this process or something like that rather than I was part of the team who did this um, but yeah I'll put a link below for the ILS profiles because they're really good for kind of pointers if you're stuck for examples look at just one of them and you can incorporate that into the job description um, something else that's important is you'll need a good resume uh, but um, don't regurgitate your resume into your pitch because they'll be reading your resume um, you, you need to complement the resume so mention you know the job a job that you did in the resume but don't just say as per my resume I did this 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 is this you need to expand upon it um, but yeah and then once that's done um, it'll take a while you'll have some interviews um, and it could be one interview, it could be three interviews, they'll do reference checks and everything. Uh, then they'll do a, a, a security check, a background check, a national police check, whatever it is. If you've got a common name, that's gonna take you a while. If you don't have a common name and you don't have like, you know, criminal convictions, that'll be really quick. Um, I have a foreign last name, so there's not many of me around Australia, so the background check takes pretty quick. Um, but then, depending on the department that you're at, you will probably require a security clearance, and that is a more uh, involved process. Um, but pretty much, it comes down to what you've put in your pitch, and then the interview, I can't help you with the interview. You need to figure that out on your own, that's difficult. Um, interviews are hard, uh, but there's a lot of videos on that. So yeah, focus on your pitch, uh, and you'll do fine. Thanks for listening.